Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Gardening in Cold Spring Harbor. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. Gardening is so satisfying. I know it, you know it, guys, but let's get real. From all the highs and the excitement that gardening brings to us and to our home, there are also some lows. And it's unfortunate, but there's absolutely nothing that us gardeners can do about it. It's not our fault, guys. So today we're going to talk about one of those lows. And that's insects and pests that might just come and visit our home gardens. I know that some of us might come to enjoy our veggies and our herbs and our fruits just to see and notice holes on our veggies leaves what do the holes mean what happens to our vegetables to our fruits well pests and insects happen so today i'm going to give you multiple organic treatment options to get rid of insects and pests for good from your home garden so you can enjoy more of those gardening highs versus lows. For those of you who are looking for that online gardening channel that offers tips, tricks, easy yet proven gardening advice to take your garden to that next level, don't go anywhere guys. Stick around. Start with clicking the subscribe button and if you never want to miss any of my new upcoming gardening videos, don't forget to click that bell icon as well. YouTube will notify you every time I'll upload a new gardening video. Now come with me, let's talk all about how to organically get rid of pests and insects from your home garden. There is nothing more frustrating than seeing your plants your vegetables or your herbs being chewed up entirely by insects. I came to take a look, look at my south side garden this morning only to realize that I am definitely having an insect issue in my south side garden. I haven't seen it a few days ago so this is something that's relatively recent which is also a good thing because today we're going to talk about how we can tackle this issue early on and potentially prevent it from happening ever again in your home gardens just because you realize that you have pests in your home garden don't despair guys it is not your fault because sometimes you can't necessarily totally eliminate pests or insects but luckily there are natural remedies natural treatments that you can use in order to get rid of them to as much extent as possible and to prevent them from coming back to your home garden again I've been getting a lot more comments from you guys, my fellow gardeners, telling me how beautiful my home garden is. Thank you so much, guys, for leaving such wonderful, pleasant, positive comments. However, I want to be honest with you. I want to be transparent with you. And I want to show you that I, just like you, my fellow gardeners, do have issues, problems when it comes to home gardening. I do get un unwanted visitors in my home garden as well, such as pest so i wanted to talk to you today all about the treatment the organic treatments that i personally use in my home garden that are human safe and of course pet safe as you guys know i do have uh, a few dogs in my home and i want to make sure that my children my husband and my dogs will absolutely be safe when i'm using chemicals in my home garden it looks like not just my sunflowers got eaten by insects, but also my dahlia flowers over here got eaten as well. You could see the bite marks on the leaves over here. This leaf got chewed up pretty bad, guys. But the good thing is that it looks like not every single uh, plant got attacked by the insects or pests because this one looks like it's doing absolutely fine which is a good sign that means i 
came and saw this issue uh, early on in the game, guys, before it escalated and got out of hand. You could see over here, my melon plant also got eaten by some sort of a pest or an insect. You could see this one, this leaf is gone almost altogether. Then I could see all the way from here that my raspberry shrubs also are being eaten. You could see the holes all over the leaves. So clearly, majority of this garden space is being attacked by some sort of an insect. Here you can see my cantaloupe plant also got chewed up. So in today's video, we're going to focus about managing and preventing insects and pests that chew or make holes in your vegetables or your flowers leaves when it comes to pests in your home garden guys going on the offense is the best defense before it completely gets out of hand also when it comes to pest control in your home garden prevention is the best cure it's easier and more convenient to prevent something from happening rather than having to treat a problem that already completely got out of control. So unfortunately, in my case, in my situation, looks like the problem is getting out of hand. So I need to treat this problem immediately before I start losing my plants altogether. I am not liking a sign of this. So now let's talk about how you can cure and prevent insects and pests in your home garden organically. Tip number one, guys, walk through your home gardens on a daily basis. Not only is it fun and enjoyable to look at your gorgeous home garden, but also it'll give you a chance to look closely at your gorgeous herbs, flowers, and of course, vegetables. It'll give you a chance to take a look at the stems, the leaves, and of course, to see whether there are any potential issues developing with your plants or your vegetables that you're growing. Make sure you don't see any holes on your leaves. Make sure you don't see any wilting of the leaves. And of course, make sure you don't see any bugs or insects anywhere near your home garden. Also, by walking through your gorgeous garden on a daily basis, you can spot a problem before it totally gets out of hand. You want to see these lush, gorgeous, green, beautiful leaves on your vegetables. You definitely do not want the situation to get so out of hand that it turns from looking like this to looking something unfortunately like this. One of the biggest problems that us gardeners have to deal with when it comes to home gardening are insects that crawl into the soil underneath our plants and chew away either the stems of our plants or make holes in the plant's leaves. So if you noticed that there is some sort of an insect or a pest that is chewing away your plant's stem, specifically the stem, what I prefer to use is the Bonite brand Bug and Slug Killer. It comes in a form of granules. It is absolutely meant for organic use in your home garden. It is safe for humans and of course safe to be used around pets. What you do is you take the Bonite Bug and Slug container and you generously sprinkle the granules around each of your impacted plants right on the soil. So what it does is it acts as a distraction. So the bugs or the slugs 
do enjoy the flavor and the scent of those granules. So they will come to eat them. Once they'll eat them, they will go away and eventually will die off, not coming back to hurt your plant ever again. Another problem are holes on your plant's leaves. They can either be tiny like so, they can look like large bite marks like this. They can take various shapes. Either way, here on my raspberry plant, you could see the holes are still very tiny, but there's still holes that were made by an on wanted insect or a pest. So now let me show you what I use exactly to treat my plants as soon as I notice such a terrible, terrible, destructive pest problem. So now again, if the problem that you're noticing are holes on your plant's leaves, again, doesn't matter what shape or what size they are clearly means that there is a pest or an insect attacking your home garden what i prefer to use is this guy over here captain jack's bonite dead bug brew it kills a variety variety of insects and it's meant for organic gardening this is mixed and ready to use some of the insects that it terminates are spider mites leaf miners caterpillars coating moth gypsy moth again leaf miners spider mites uh, caterpillars thrips etc all the active ingredients are for organic gardening purposes Another great thing about Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew is that it is safe for pollinators. We love seeing and getting those healthy pollinators in our home garden, such as bumblebees. So yes, Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew will not hurt or impact the amount of pollinators you have in your home garden. So now let me show you exactly how to use Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. You basically focus on the impacted plants and you spray, diligently spray the leaves off your plant. You want to spray enough so you see the chemical dripping down like so. That tells you that you have applied enough of the dead bug brew on your leaves. Try to get the tops as well as the bottom of the leaves. Any impacted leaves you see, whether it's one leaf, two leaves, if you see any damages on your leaves, that means the whole plant is stressed out. It's being attacked and eaten by bugs. So here you go, guys. You spray diligently again till you see dripping off the leaves of your plant like so if you can try to get the bottom of the leaves as well because you never know what side of the leaf the insects will attack next so now let's say you're looking at your tomato plant and you do see any sort of white specks on your tomato plants leaves those can potentially and most likely are unfortunately spider mites well guess what guys captain jack's dead bug brew contains spinosad what is spinosad it's an ingredient it's a chemical which is very very effective against spider mites so I'm not liking these white specks on my tomato plant's leaves. So I'm going to diligently spray these leaves down as well. So you could see that this, chem this chemical, this awesome spray works and helps with quite a few problems in your home garden. 
I'm going to go through my entire south side garden area and I'm going to make sure that I diligently spray down each of my impacted plants because I never want to see these pests come back to my home garden again. And you could see again, I apply enough that I see dripping off of my plant's leaves. That is essentially how much you need to spray on each of your plant's leaves. Again, guys, remember, if you do see insects or pests in your home garden, don't despair. Remember, it is not your fault. You are an excellent home gardener who works very, very hard to grow things in your home garden. Now, this is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it to be useful, helpful, informative, show me the support by clicking thumbs up below. Leave your comments below. Let me know, have you had to deal with insects or pests in your home gardens? And if so, what treatment did you use to shoo those bugs and insects away from your home garden? You haven't yet done so, do so today, guys. Subscribe to my channel, Gardening Cold Spring Harbor. Makes me feel so special to see that you guys enjoy watching my videos and subscribe to my channel. Everybody stay healthy, happy, and be well, guys. Happy gardening, and I'll see you again in my new upcoming gardening videos. Bye, guys.